Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've come up to Glencoe today. It's about 40 minutes to sunrise and I'm just waiting out a particularly heavy sn uh, rain shower. I'm hoping it's going to clear up in time for sunrise. Uh, you probably don't know this but um, it was Glencoe that got me into landscape photography in the first place. Uh, years ago, a long time ago now. Uh, I pulled up, I got off the bus just over at the King's House Hotel uh, armed with cheap walking boots, inappropriate clothing uh, an old 35mm film camera and one 36 exposure roll of uh, it would have been Fuji Velvia film and I remember thinking I was determined I was going to use all 36 exposures on that one day and how things change I'll probably take several hundred images today. On that day I set off, walked from the King's House to Glencoe Village. Um, I did shoot off all 36 exposures and remarkably one of those exposures turned out to be the first shot that I ever sold. So I'm kind of coming back to my roots a little bit today. I'm going to spend the day just revisiting some of my favourite locations in Glencoe. But this is all obviously weather dependent. I'm just at the start of uh, Glen Etive at the moment. I had and hoped to shoot some early morning alpine glow on the summit of the Bouclet of Moor. Uh, at the moment that's looking unlikely, but we'll see. Yeah, sunrise is looking like it might be a bit of a washout. Oh, right, I'm back in the car. Uh, I managed to get a couple of shots, I hope, of uh, the Bucolette of Moor. Uh, we didn't get any direct sunlight on the, the mountain. Uh, I've just had what must be one of the scariest experiences of my life. Uh, and I've climbed the Bucolette of Moor <laughs> up the Stob the Ark side, so the, the scary side. But uh, there's a lot of wind around today. Um, it, they said on the radio as I was driving up that they just hit a 100 mile an hour gust on the Cairngorms and I think the forecast for here was about 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts. Well, I was balancing precariously at the side of those waterfalls, uh, just about to set up a photograph and in the distance I could see, it was weird, I could see it was like a, a cloud but at ground level, just working its way along the river. And then it hit me, and it was actually water from the river being lifted up by a, a gust of wind. Uh, this wall of water and wind hit me. It physically lifted me and the camera off the ground. And given how close I was to the waterfall, that was pretty terrifying. And then it disappeared. Just as quickly as it arrived, it disappeared. I'm not too proud to say that as soon as, as, soon as I got my composure back, I grabbed everything and ran back to the car. Uh, I might head back and uh, head down into Glencoe itself now. And uh, hopefully at the other end of the Glen, the weather's a wee bit nicer. But, oh, that was terrifying. That was very, very scary stuff. Right, this is getting ridiculous now. I've come to the other end of the Glencoe. I'm parked up in the Signal Rock uh, car park. Uh, I did stop off on the way down at the, the car park for the study. Um, you couldn't see any more than about 10 feet in front of you, so there was no grand vistas to be had there. I came down to the car park for the, the Three Sisters. 
it was slightly better, but still not ideal. Although I might still stop off on the way back that way. And uh, it's looking like it's not going to be ideal for the next one either. But um, I'm parked up here. Uh, I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to see if the light improves any. I doubt it will. Uh, I'll maybe change jackets and uh, get the um, the more robust waterproof on and then I'll set off down the path to the waterfall which is where I took my first ever photograph that I sold Looking good <laughs> I genuinely don't know if this is going to work or not the weather is uh, it's pretty abysmal right I'm kind of suspecting you're not hearing me here but, <laughs> but I'm going to give this a go so this is pretty much the view that I took on that very first ever photograph that I sold um, and for a split second there we had some light breaking through onto the Anarchia Ridge. So I grabbed some shots rather than um, waste some time setting up the video camera. But I have grabbed some shots and I'm hoping that that is going to work. Uh, I'll show you on the back of the camera just now. This is, this is what I've got here. I've got a graduated neutral density filter on to try and bring down some of the, um, the, the brightness in the sky. And that's allowing me to have a longer exposure which is blurring the water a little bit and uh, but at the same time I'm retaining some detail in the sky we've got I'm set at f14 and it's one sixth of a second at ISO 100 and uh, that's kind of bringing out some of the still retaining some of the texture in the water but also allowing me to retain some of the detail in the sky so I'm basically just shooting off a couple of frames here. Uh, I'm hoping that the light changes again. There's there's a little bit of blue sky behind us, as you can see. So I'm hoping that that's going to make its way over. There's, a, there's quite a dramatic change here. As you see, it goes bang, 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 and then stormy. So I'm hoping uh, that that blue sky is going to make its way to the west of the glen, and that'll allow some of the sun, sorry, the east of the glen, and that'll allow some of the sun through and that should hopefully light up but it's looking it's looking good isn't it? it's quite dramatic yeah and there we have it we've got some light just breaking through now hitting the Anakia Ridge and that's adding a wee bit of depth to the image so again I'm just firing off shots here as the because the light's changing very very quickly I think once I've taken a couple of these I'll concentrate on a couple of kind of detail shots in amongst the the waterfall but that is beautiful isn't it? Look at that, very dramatic. What I've done is I've doubled up on the neutral density filters. I've got a 0.3 and a 0.6 uh, graduated neutral density on there because the sky has got a lot brighter and uh, obviously the foreground doesn't get any direct light so it's still quite dark. So uh, yeah I've doubled up on the neutral density filters which is allowing me to try and even out the exposure a little bit. That's how it looks on the back of the camera. And uh, if I take that shot just now, you'll see, hopefully, that it's, yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. I'm liking the, the light in the back of the, on the Anarchirch. And there's no, a tiny little bit of clipping just over in the corner there, but the, the majority of it's fine. So I should be able to bring out the, the shadow detail in post-processing, and I've not burned out any of the any of the highlights, so that looks like that might be quite a good exposure. What I'll do is I'll I'll shoot off an R couple just to be sure, and uh, then I'll I'll change lenses, change position, and try and get a couple of more compositions where I've got maybe the more detail in the water and the anarchia because uh, a dramatic background because it's it's looking lovely now, isn't it? Right, what I've done is I've changed uh, lenses and I've also changed over into portrait orientation and I'm thinking in my head this is going to be a square crop rather than 
portrait, but it was easier to take the shot in that way. But basically what I've done is, uh, I've still got the, I'll show you in the back of the camera actually. I've still got the graduated filters on to try and darken down the sky and retain some of the detail here in the sky. But I've basically just, I'm going to square crop that. Um, so you've got the Anarchyach, probably the line of the river across the middle, and then the falls below. And uh, I, I like the way that looks in the back of the camera. I just hope that looks as dramatic when I get it back. But uh, yeah, that's, that's, I like that. What I'm going to do is zoom in a little bit more now. Yeah, something like that. So we lose the bottom of the waterfall, but we get more of the, the Anarchyach at the top there. And I think I might actually remove one of the, yeah, one of the graduated filters, just so we can see a wee bit more of that skyline. It's still crazy though, the <laughs> it is still very, very windy. Thankfully the rain's gone off but uh, it's still really windy, so I'm having to shield the mic here. I'm going to move slightly to the side here. Let you see this. I'm shooting here from this angle, but just over there, there's another viewpoint that I've shot from before. So I'm going to go over there and that'll, be, that'll see me looking further up these waterfalls here and hopefully still include a bit of the Anarchy Ridge in the background because the light on that is stunning now. Don't, oh, I said stunning again. Ooh. <laughs> That'll wake me up. Uh, uh, apologies for the, no doubt, terrible sound quality and even worse haircut. But, oh wow, that was, uh, it was nice. We got a little bit of light up on the air here, but I think it's starting to starting to fade again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into the car and uh, quickly recharge the, the video camera and also grab a bite to eat and a cup of tea or something like that to try and <laughs> warm myself up again, defrost more like. And then I'm going to head down to the woods around Signal Rock and see if we can do a little bit of woodland photography there. So that'll probably be a that'll probably be a second video. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up. And uh, I'll catch you soon when I'm over at the the woods. Cheers. Bye.